uh, I, I just appreciate Marty for letting us to become part of this. Well, I appreciate that. But, you know, I'm not I'm not nothing big. I'm not no big fancy movie star or anything like that. I'm just just professional wrestler. has been doing it for over 20 years now, and it's 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 been like I said a fun ride, and I'm gonna continue that ride. Mm -hmm. But you know, our fan base are the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not taking away from the adults or teenagers or anything like that, but, you know, the small kids are what makes our show possible. Right. You know, wrestling, everything. And, uh, you know, if, if you got one kid coming into a show and you're looking out and you're trying to wrestle and you see him, he's sitting there all glossy-eyed and just spinning around, you know something's wrong and you lose your concentration. Right. And it's a shame. And people don't realize this. You know, remind the people, you've been there. You've been there with Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, all the names. You've been right, right there with them. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, you take Terry and uh, uh, Ric Flair. Uh, you take uh, Tully Blanchard, Ole and Arn Anderson, uh, Ricky Steamboat. Uh, well, you know, eventually, you know, it was Chris Benoit before he got in all those situations. Right. But, you know, going back to those, that, that era. Mm-hmm. You know, that that was some of the greatest shows ever was. Oh, yeah. And, you know, but even if that, wrestlers are human. Right. They do fall to the side and, and you know, get hooked on things. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I've never done drugs. I've never done alcohol or That's anything good. like that. That's so good. But, I mean, I've got around people that uh, I end up being the, uh, what do you call it, designated driver. Mm -hmm. And I hated that. Mm. And just the, just the smell of it. Right. You know, I mean, I had to pull off side of the road and puke. And to, but, you know, to get out here on the streets now, you drive, especially where I live, I mean, it's a constant thing. Mm. You know, I mean, you got teenagers, uh, if, they're, if they're not snorting pills or drinking beer. Right. And, you know, it's getting uncalled for, but it's not just going to take us. Exactly. And, you know, this beautiful TV station you guys got here, and we really appreciate you guys doing this. But it takes all the communities, exactly, the citizens of everywhere, just to join together. The state police, the county, the city, the Unite program, mm -hmm. great bunch of people. They're all doing the best they can. But we got to help them. Mm -hmm. We've got. They can't be here and 20 miles down the road at the same time. How can people that's watching this, Mr. Marty, support this? How, they say, "Hey, I want to, you know, do my part and support what you guys are doing." Well, you know, we're paying for all this out of our own pocket. You know, that's, that's no issue. But if anybody wanted to help, they could contact uh, him with his number. They could contact me at mine. Uh, you know, if they just want to come and get involved, you know, come to one of the shows. And exactly. If, if you've been on drugs before and, and you've made that mistake mm -hmm. and you want to come tell your story, hey, the door is open to you. And people don't realize the history that you have in the wrestling, you know, organization. Remember Starcade, Midnight Express, Rock and Roll Express. You remember them days? I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, still got bruises from. It. <laughs> uh, but you know, you know, uh, and, and we we would. I mean, we would like to invite people to come. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and and help and. Uh, we'd like to invite sponsors to help us. Right. Uh, we need, uh, you know, uh, that would be great. You know, not just uh, financial, uh, but I'm talking about sponsors. Maybe somebody to put a banner up, uh, somebody to call us and open the door and say, here, uh, come to my school, talk to our children. Uh, we'd like to invite the parents to come say, hey, uh, we want to hear what you guys have to say. Right. And, you know, that would be awesome. And uh, uh, you, 